Friday night. Friday night is a Mephisto mangy business. Twisty. It looks like he picks up the Malfurion. Moloch is special agent, but maybe our Tannis Bruiser. And then CY is... Who knows? What? Lee Ming? All right. Oh my god. Well, they won. Ooh. You glutton. Towers of Doom, Lost Vikings. This was my Malfurion player, right? Oh, looks like they do do, do some Lost Vikings. Yep, yep, we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, the, the tomatoes do grow on vines. You know, they're easy. They're easy to manage. Them tomatoes. Probably our best bet would be to... Okay. Well, with any hope, CY here is going to get the hero he wants. Not a hero he's been working on. Maybe. Yeah, no, level's five. It's fine. They're also our highest ranked player. I think I'm going to be going towards Rhaegar right now with the Tychus Orphea. Dukov, Johanna. Cool. We'll help manage some camps. But we want that Orphea pick instead of the Lost Vikings here. Good dodge. Cool. Lucky luck. It's a lot of losses. Most of them were a week ago, though, so they took a break, you know? I mean, look at the Three days, four days. So they took a three-day break, and they even took a three-day break between these, so they're, they're getting out, stretching their legs. Um. They've been communicating. I've been on losing sprees too, so it's all looking okay right now. Nazebo, weird. Well, Nazebo Stukov can be trouble. I'm glad Twisty's excited. Greymane. Okay. Where will we end up this time? Such an odd pick, but it does look like it's their ranged assassin for him. And hopefully bloodlusted Vikings can get it done. Now all they need is anything they want, really. But hopefully it's not a Zero tool or something along those lines. That's fine. That is fine. I'm, I'm excited. I hope it works out. I hope he's in range. I hope it works out. And I hope our tank doesn't die. That's, that's phase one. Phase one of the plan is I hope the tank doesn't die. Phase two of the plan is let's bloodlust and hope Lost Vikings can totally own them all. Because that'd be really cool to see.
And Morphia has a decent auto attack. Yeah, it's Towers of Doom 2, a classic. A old Lost Vikings map, so I'm glad they're excited. I base your skills entirely off your excitement in the draft. Which probably means I look like I'm not very good because I don't talk a ton. I'm done talking with you all. My biggest problem on healing here is that we're going to have to... Hopefully everyone doesn't eat all the Nazebo business and make my healing count for less. If we can dodge Nazebo, I think we have a really good chance of dealing with Greymane and taking it on the other side of that and engage. But Tychus will probably be focusing... Maybe Rag. He could absolutely eat him. But we'll see what happens. There's a lot of damage. Let's see. Time remaining. Ten. Honestly, I probably don't need cleanse into this group because it's Johanna. Mac cleanse off the blind. Let the battle but that begin. does mean eh, attack speed wouldn't be very valuable. We should just do cleanse. All right, we'll just keep it normal. It's a bit deep, but it's it's all right. Oh, I could end up behind the wall if I do that. A good start. Death and Cross, welcome to you. Alright, it is early game Regar, so I'll probably hearth after this. May well go forward. Alright, let's go join her. That will be lower mana. Greymane's already in Morgan form, though. See if I can circle back in for a heal. Cool. And Rag got into the pile now, so we should be getting a nice level lead as we continue. I mean, with Lost Vikings covering all the lanes, I don't necessarily have to do... Thinking about healing Totem, but it's hard to tell how long the fights are going to go right now. And I do tend to play Lightning, so I'll make some mistakes if I'm not careful. like we'll be fighting in the bottom of Lost Vikings. Messes with top and mid. There's an Azebo rotating down. Nice get. I eat the toads though. Thanks for the relief. Activate the towers. We don't have a reason to really do anything else. Let's maybe we can blind cleanse or just 
maybe even catch a shield that I'm not a part of. There's a chance we might get invaded on the back of this. Looks like we're just fast enough. I got a hearth. Then I can maybe make it top. Oh, they're still going. And Rag's gonna delay for Lost Vikings. Do not disappoint me. Guess I should have stuck around. Zeebo doesn't have any mana left. Like, we're good. Yeah, Bloodlust Odin. That will be cool. I've, I've, I haven't actually done it before. I don't think I've ever Bloodlusted an Odin. Is that all? Oh, what's going on down here? Aw, that's a shame. Don't be hating. Don't be hating, small child. <laughs> the toad. Got a little Vikings action there. Very nice. Vikings in the back. It just needs to combo a little bit. And the May will be fine. Alright. Oh, I've got more than enough mana. 
Get slow. Super weird to see in his Evo. Yeah, you're doing great, Tychus. They're gonna push in bottom. Yeah, weather got added. It's as you can tell, it it it's ignorable at times. But it looks nice. Oh dear. Oh no, nice shove. <laughs> it happens. Yes, and thank you for the sub, Death and Cross. So this particular map, each map has one weather effect, and the weather does different things. So this one, if you sit in a bush, you get stealth. I was in the old, technically in the right spot, but, you know, died alone like a fool. They're actually going to get control of bottom there. There's an Zemo. Oh, thank you for the snack. And so they return. Capture the altars quickly, heroes. Okay. Does anyone desperately need healing? And can I catch this Nazebo out? I can tank for him. Okay. Not too bad. We could delay this in a more organized environment, but let's just get it off the field. I think they just want to destroy more buildings. It's usually what seems to happen in solo play. There's more buildings to destroy, let's destroy more buildings. Rather than being the bottom for sweet victory points. Heroes, I have opened a tunnel near our core that leads to the battleground center. The Zebo's gonna give us the old quick match rotation. I won't go in on mid. We should just let that fall, probably. Yeah, everyone's rotating up for Nazebo. So let's just stay with the team. Oh wow, nice. Ooh! Exactly. Yeah. That's the plight of solo queue, right? We did the wrong, the right thing and it was wrong. I don't really want to engage into gray main here. I think we just give them the old double top and see if we can win it. Because there they go rotating. Yeah, there's still quite a bit of damage going around. There's still a gray main and the like. And actually, we should delay that. Hey, 
Hey, Corny. We got 40 seconds till the next bloodlust. Let's grab a well and keep going. And we'll join the Lost Vikings down there and pick a fight with our 20s. Oh wow, he's messing them up. And a curse bullet was used on Vikings. Which Olaf probably has decent health. is gonna get back. This should already go down, though. All right, I'm ready to bloodlust some backings. Hey, she got a, a gray man. That went okay. Vikings are better. They have a nice together build. Which I think is what benefited them the most, is you can now keep them out of the solo lane and such, and it's not... You don't have to always be stacking, always be... What you call it? Splitting. Splitting is the word I'm looking for. Victory. Yeah, they, that is very true. The bloodlust did do very well. MVP. We healed a lot more than Stukov. And that bloodlust got to run wild. I think you trade out Nazebo for... And Rag didn't have any pressure on the Lost Vikings, so I think you just trade out Nazebo and Rag. Or like a zero tool and a I mean false dad, right? But like how many bloodlust counters are there in a game? Yeah, yeah, so let's let's look at the build here, because what we have is explosive attacks, increase Baylog's splash damage against non-heroes. Baylog's basic attacks and splash damage heal for 20% of the damage dealt, healing double against heroes. Increase Baylog's attack range by 2.2 while near Olaf and Eric, he becomes inspired by the power of teamwork. And his auto attack speed is increased by 50%. Nordic squad. Well, Olaf, Balog, and Eric are near each other. Are near each of the other two Vikings. Their basic attacks deal. So if you keep them together, you get a giant killer. It looks like Olaf charged and then they did play it again. Yeah, Balog build. But that also means that Balog is the one probably delivering the majority of the damage. Because once you get them together, you're still having to keep track of your Eric and keep him safe, and then Olaf's probably out in front. So I bet, yeah, this gives you a good chance to actually connect with Nordic Attack Squad. 